Recorded Books and One Click Digital present The Escape and The Suitor by Mary Ballog. Narrated by Rosalind Landor. And now, The Escape. Chapter One The hour was approaching midnight, but no one was making any move to retire to bed. You are going to find it mighty peaceful around here after we have all left, George, Ralph Stockwood, Earl of Berwick, remarked. It will be quiet, certainly. The Duke of Stanbrook looked about the circle of six guests gathered in the drawing-room at Penderis Hall, his country home in Cornwall, and his eyes paused fondly on each of them in turn before moving on. Yes, and peaceful too, Ralph, but I am going to miss you all damnably. You will be... "'Counting your blessings, George,' said Flavian Arnott, Viscount Ponsonby. "'As soon as you realise, you will not have to listen to Vince "'scraping away on his v violin for another whole year, "'or the cats howling in ecstasy along with the music it creates,' "'Vincent Hunt, Viscount Darley, added. "'You might as well mention that too, Flav. "'There is no need to consider my sensibilities. "'You play with a great deal more competence than you did last year, Vincent.' Imogen Hayes, Lady Barclay, assured him. By next year, I do not doubt you will have improved even further. You are a marvel and an inspiration to us all. I may even dance to one of your tunes one of these days, provided it is not too sprightly, Vince. Sir Benedict Harper looked ruefully at the two canes propped against the arm of his chair. You are not by any chance... "'Harbouring a hope that we will all decide to stay a year or two longer "'instead of leaving tomorrow, George?' "'Hugo Eames,' Lord Trentham asked, sounding almost wistful. "'I have never known three weeks to pass by so quickly. "'We arrived here, we blinked, and now it is time to go our separate ways again. 